That's Kate. Good luck with that. Time for some cookery now. We are having a fiesta in the kitchen with Marcus Bean. You're making... What, what Mexican dish are you making today, Mark? So this is uh, pork chilli tostadas. So um, this is not a taco, so you can get sometimes get those taco shells. A tostada is basically a corn tortilla. Yeah. Somewhere you can have and obviously you can just, you know, Love bake those. it, toast it and then sort of have it like that. Or, of course, you can fry them or oven bake them and it goes lovely and crispy. So like this here, you end up with this lovely... And then we're going to top oh, it with whatever you want. God. So, of course, we're going to do a pork chilli, top that up. You've got loads of ingredients in front of you. Homemade guacamole. Are we making what? it ourselves? Yeah, I thought so. I thought you could, like, go in there. <laughs> Look, <laughs> there anything around okay doing that? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't, Mark. You know what I love about you, though, Marcus? It's yes. your voice on Instagram. Oh, OK. When you do your little okay. videos and that voice. So, can you give us a bit oh, of Oh, what does he do? I don't know. Well, that. Oh, it's just the voice. It's quite sexy it, online. Hi, everyone. Yeah. It started off that um, I used to do the, the reels, and, of course, you get to the point, like, I could film the reels without having yeah. to put a voice on. That worked OK. And then... Um, and then I thought, well, if I put a voiceover on, it sort of explains what the dish is. So I started doing that. No, well, the reality it. was I was at home, like, the kids are asleep, Jenny's asleep, there's me, so I'm trying to, like, whisper. Oh, going, is that the reason why? So I started whispering, and, of course, then it developed into something, and people were like, well, actually... Well, we love it. Well, yeah. listen, tell us with your voice what yes. you put in that pan. So, What's in the pan in already, I've got some onions and some sweet red peppers, so these are lovely, mm -hmm. nice flavour to them. So these are cooked down. I've added a touch of garlic in here, and all we're going to do is sweat this down so it's lovely and soft, and then I've got pork mince. But, again, you can use anything, you can use some chicken mince, you can use pork mince, beef mince, whatever you want. So I'm going to add this straight in, start to fry that off. And the great thing about this is it's a really good sort of sharing dish. So we were talking about food earlier and uh, you were saying about sort of, you know, different cuisines you could do. But for me, because uh, I'm, I'm a chef and I want to eat lots of flavours, mm -hmm. so the great thing about this is you can have those ingredients. If someone doesn't like a bit of guacamole, they don't just put it on. Sure. You know, you can take a bit of this, put a bit of that on. So it's really build your own, but it's super, super tasty. And also, if you don't, you know, if you've got a bit of this left over, you can have some and then have it as a separate dish on its own without tostadas. So get the pork mince in, let this cook down, let it brown together. Yeah. I've already started it in this side here. And then we add in some... Chopped tomatoes. I've got some tomato puree and a little bit of pork stock. So I'm going to get all of this into the pan. It's funny because when you down. have pork mince, it's so it's so different because you always have beef mince all the all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, the pork one, it's, I think it's nicer. Yeah, I don't. I really to be, do. Just my, personally, my wife doesn't eat red meat, so I, I tend to use white meat. So I can use chicken. Yeah. Meat, sometimes pork mince, and also actually, you know, you can create those same recipes. So if you've got a, a beef recipe and you want yeah. to put pork mince, just swap it over. It's pork mince just it holds its flavour so well, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. You want a little bit of fat in there. It's really important. I also so I do lamb mince as well. Oh, that's so See, nice. lamb's got a good flavour. Yeah. You don't need any oil whatsoever because it's so much. In it. So much fat in there. Let it all cook down. So that's all coming together. I'm going to add the other ingredients in as well. Do you want to do turkey? Mince? I love turkey. Turkey oh, mince yeah. is good. Yeah. The only thing with turkey, it can be a little bit lean sometimes. So you need to add a little bit of extra fat in there. Yeah. yeah. So a little bit of oil or extra bit of flavour. So get those tomatoes in. Cook all this down. Then we're going to add our beans. And then also into here is this stuff. So I use loving. A I love using a little bit of chipotle paste. So this is a mix. Now if I give you that, you can have a little taste. Just dip your finger in. See what we think. So this is a mixture of jalapeno peppers, chipotle peppers, and it adds with like onions and garlic. So it's got like a really nice paste to it. It's a bit like adding sort of different things like Worcestershire sauce yeah. to a dish. Oh, that's you nice. You just get that lovely flavour. It gives you that smoky taste. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yeah, that's why, that's why I, I was doing that. Might not have had that straight. I taste it while you were on camera and I had to have a little bit of lime juice in there. That is so, really nice. While that's cooking down over there, I've got this one which is almost finished and you're obviously tasting it. My <laughs> favourite thing is a bit of guac. So this mm. is fantastic. So I do it roughly, so we've got our um, avocado in here. Then we're going to add the other traditional ingredients. So red onion, tomatoes, chopped, mixed straight into here, yeah. Then lime juice is really important because, one, it gives you a nice balance and it cuts through almost that fattiness of the avocado. Mm -hmm. But then also don't forget to season. So when we're in here, you've got to season it. And the seasoning is like a flavour enhancer. It brings out that flavour, even something like avocado. And then I'm going to add in some of this lovely chopped, av chopped coriander, which goes straight in. Mix all this together. Mm. Oh, look at this. I mean, I'm making myself hungry. You're all away and I'm standing here cooking. You know what it is? Because you're not the end of the show, <laughs> We've got to get as much in as possible. <laughs> you really can hard. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. Just keep going, just keep going. Because you know you've got another item, so you just absolutely smash it as much yes. as you can. Yeah. yeah. Oh, very I love guacamole so much. And then these, I'm going to pass you one of these as well, because you need a little bit of oh, charred lime squeezed over the Marcus, top. like, what I love about guacamole is so... so like, you've always got the same ingredients, but the, the, but the, the, the recipe is always different from wherever you go. Yeah. Like, it, it tends to, like, I don't know, and the guacamole is more chunky and stuff. Yeah, and I think sometimes, you, I mean, if you really like it smooth, you can put it into a blender. But personally, I think you need that texture. Yeah, I like and that. And also, traditionally, like I say, tomato, red onion. You want that sort of raw onion in there. You want a bit of salt. The fresh coriander lifts it, but the lime mm. juice is the absolute finisher. So I'm going to add a little bit of this onto uh, one of mine. I didn't think I'd like these. 
these and I absolutely delicious. Uh, well you're going to have these for your lunch, or have you ordered a takeaway? I think take I am. <laughs> I think I'm going to have this for my lunch. You're going for it. This yeah. is our lunch. <laughs> and then have a takeaway. <laughs> and then have a takeaway after. <laughs> as long as you eat it, I'm happy. As long as you eat it, <laughs> that's fine. So this I'm going to put a little delicious. bit of this on here Honestly, on top as well. Thank you this. so much, Marco. And then, of course, toppings, cheese. You've got to have a little bit of cheese, haven't you? Oh. A little bit of sour cream. And then also, you've got one of these lovely little oh, well chilies on top. Pop that on imagine there. watching a nice movie Look at that. with your little on the sofa. How do you say it? gelatas? And then finish. You, you go. How do you call? What do you call these? Are they just, just tostadas. 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 There you go. So for, just for you, Alison, that's my pork chili tostadas. Thank you. With guacamole and Thank sour cream. You. Oh, I see what you mean about the voice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it's it? He's got the voice. He really has. Thank you, Marcus. That's my amazing for all the details of today's recipes and more delicious ideas from our this morning chefs. Just head to the free this morning. Yeah. Up. Just.